What is up YouTube and welcome to this Doctor Who breakdown and review. This is easily, in my opinion, the best the show has been in years. And after that god-awful Angels Take Manhattan episode, the Angels are back and being truly terrifying while being changed fundamentally forever. After the TARDIS was controlled by an angel and the Doctor does, I don't know, science stuff to get out of the jam, we cut to Claire. She's the woman who we met in episode 1 who was attacked by an angel and she's ended up back in 1967. This concept is beyond cool. She's in a sleepy British village and being experimented on by Jericho, the coolest scientist ever and a total mad lad. She's been having weird psychic visions but as we know by the end of the episode it was actually just a rogue angel in her head, one who left the division like the doctor and was being hunted like the Doctor. I'm sure the UK all erupted with a what the angel at the same moment. This is also in my opinion the most cleverest use of angels. I'm sure none of them were actual words in a while and the mechanic of them sending people back in time was used so well. It's a gold mine of storytelling and thankfully they are underused like the Daleks or Cybermen who are just tired and dull at this point. The village itself was also besieged by angels and it happened before back in 1901. I like the idea of a village always being wiped out, but just like the other episodes this season, we got a very different episode. Now Yaz and Dan investigate a missing girl called Peggy, and I am sure we all worked out that the lady who was talking to the vicar about multiplying graves was possibly Peggy, as the doctor goes to where the screwdriver is leading her to the home of Jericho as she finds Claire, the woman out of time. We get a lot of stuff in this episode surrounding the angels and the ingenious way to get around them. Yaz and Dan are stuck in 1901 but find Peggy as the Doctor tries to work out a way to save Jericho and Claire and goes into the mind of her. Now here we learn how the angel worked for the Division along with the angels who are chasing them in this episode leading to this rogue angel being hunted just like the fugitive Doctor Ruth was. It's a season-long mystery, The Division is, and this is some of the best serial storytelling that The Doctor has ever done. For me, it is up there with the Bad Wolf mystery, and The Doctor is offered knowledge in exchange for saving that said angel in the mind of Claire. This episode was also reminiscent of the Netflix show Dark, which is hands down one of the best sci-fi shows ever written. The Siege of Jericho's house was also a sight to behold as we see the Doctor set up CCTV to watch them and she went into Claire's mind and found out the horrible truth and Jericho is taunted by the angels who now go into the minds of people and are putting words there which is just absolutely terrifying. Some may be mixed on it but I thought it was a really really chilling idea that these are division angels and they may have been upgraded as well. There's also the idea that an image of an angel can also be an angel form, which is what we saw over in the Moffat era and has been massively expanded upon. We learn in 1901 that the angels did intend to extract the whole village from time in a quantum extraction. The village is supposed to be founded from the Stone Age excavations. Time is messy as the angels arrive back then in the burial site and we see Jericho, Claire and the Doctor unwittingly arrive under as Jericho is sent back and we learn that the Doctor has been recalled to Division and is turned into an angel which is absolutely mind-blowing stuff. Admittedly a lot of it didn't really make sense or wasn't explained 100% which I think is really a problem with the show and lets it down as it doesn't establish rules. However, our B story was also very entertaining as we see Belle look for Vinda at a planet where we find Neil from in between us. Someone is supposedly going to save this people who make the pilgrimage here from the ravages of the flux. But it turns out to be Azure and Passenger. Of course, the Passenger goes inside this creepy orgy uniform wearing guy. However, Vinda arrives there too late and he learns he just missed his love from the guy that she saved who convinced him not to go there. It's an interesting one with many saying on Reddit that they could be the Doctor's parents. Personally, I'm not 100% on that just yet, but they clearly do have a huge relevancy to whatever the endgame of Flux and possibly Chibnall's era of this is going to be, because I believe we have specials 
after this. The Doctor has been recalled to the Division. Where are the Division? We don't know. Possibly Gallifrey of the past, or have they been operating throughout these 50 years of stories of Doctor Who? Overall, this was a stunning episode that really, really, really did pay homage to the idea of the angels when they were first introduced back in Blink. I really, really did adore this episode. It's got some crazy stuff going on. We have the people left back in 1901 as the Doctor is taken back out of a quantum extraction. Yes, it was a superb watch. But that is it for this video. Please drop a like down below. Do subscribe with notifications on. And I'll see you soon and goodbye.